Well, hello, Atherton High School. I'm excited to be able to present to you the 2020-2021 uh, school year uh, fall NTI plan. This was developed in collaboration over many weeks with our staff and was reviewed with our site-based decision-making council. And we just think this is uh, the best possible structure that we can be providing for students. And we're really excited to get started with it. Uh, some things I wanted to uh, mention as far as the general structure. We're going to have maroon and gold days is the way we'll talk about them. On Monday and Thursday, there will be maroon day. On Tuesdays and Fridays is gold. And what we do is we break it, break up the seven periods uh, so that we have maroon and gold days to, uh, uh, to allow for a more distributed way of having all those classes in this uh, virtual environment. On Wednesday, is what we're calling asynchronous day, so not face-to-face, -face, um, not synchronous instruction. This is an opportunity for students to, uh, to do classwork and homework, to do collaboration activities, and to, uh, uh, to also reach out to teachers if they're struggling with something academically. So on Maroon Day, we'll have periods one, two, and then five and six. On Gold Day, it's three, four, and seven. And if you're thinking that's a weird way to structure it, uh, we, we needed to keep the morning periods in the morning and the afternoon periods in the later part of the day uh, because of uh, shared teachers among schools, uh, as well as things that were happening with regards to our students who uh, have certain type of activities that happen in the afternoon, uh, even on a traditional school day. So what is the school? student school day look look like. Uh, you'll have three or four periods, again, uh, on Mondays and Thursdays, uh, you'll have four periods. And then on the gold days, on Tuesdays and Fridays, you'll have three of synchronous instruction. So synchronous thinking happening at the same time, virtual face-to-face. -face. Uh, so that's happening uh, every day except Wednesday. Uh, you will have homework uh, it, as a component of all classes on all the asynchronous days. So you should be expecting to have homework assigned for three days of the week, uh, up to three days of the week as determined by the teacher and the needs of the academic uh, curriculum at the time. So, uh, you know, you can do that on Wednesdays when you're not having synchronous instruction, or you'll be engaging in homework activity on the opposite day that you're having synchronous instruction. We also want to highly recommend regular physical activities, including stretching, cardio, and strength building uh, for everyone. This is so important. You know, uh, my family we have uh, we have we have two adults who are work who are telecommuting uh, for work, and we also have a high school student here at Atherton as well. And we're just seeing the importance of having a regular routine, uh, a set schedule that includes physical activity. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you, mental, act, mental health activities as well. And we're going to give you some recommendations on the, the way you may want to design that with your family. So this will be uh, posted to our website. I'll also send it out through uh, email, and I'm sure it'll be available in many different ways. Uh, what I've been explaining, the maroon and the gold days. Uh, your school day starts at 730. And uh, at 7.30, students should be accessing their Google Classroom. Uh, we also recommend five minutes of physical activity uh, in the morning would be great for stretching. Uh, then at 8 o'clock on maroon and gold days, you'll have your first uh, class of the day. Then there'll be a 15-minute break. And then your second class of the day. So uh, the we have scheduled an hour for classes, but uh, it's actually, that's a time frame. So you will want to visit your Google Classroom for your for the classes that you're taking to find out exactly uh, if that teacher is planning on using the entire 30 minutes. They may even start 10 or 15 minutes uh, uh, off uh, of the assigned schedule so that they can um, best meet the needs of students and, and uh, address what's happening uh, in their households as well. Uh, but students are expected to engage in 30 minutes of synchronous instruction uh, as, in, in accordance with the schedule that we provided. So they'll be getting a minimum of 30 minutes and a maximum of 60 minutes. 
uh, of synchronous instruction in their classes, each class twice a week, as, as uh, shown in this schedule. You see that we provided time in the middle of the day. We hope this helps the families, uh, where our students' families, as frankly, as well as our staff, uh, the families of our staff as well, uh, as they manage this NTI environment. And this will also be an important time for completing the homework assignments that are due for the classes that are not in synchronous instruction that day. We also want to, again, encourage you to engage in physical activity. Uh, I met with our um, physical education teachers and they gave us some great suggestions, things that they, they use in traditional instruction and have recommended with their students. You see a lot of great ideas here both with um, websites, YouTube channels, and apps. So whatever uh, type of accessibility that works best for you, for your, your student, and for your family is, uh, is, is highly recommended, as well as uh, you see on the right-hand side there, mental health activities that we're highly recommending uh, to engage in on a, uh, if not a daily basis, then at least a regular basis every week. So uh, on Tuesday of next week, we'll start off on a gold day. And we talked about every Wednesday will be uh, asynchronous instruction. That's an opportunity for students to, uh, to catch up on homework. And frankly, it's an opportunity for our staff to be preparing uh, for the synchronous instruction days uh, ahead. I'll be honest with you, it's, uh, it's very labor intensive uh, for this synchronous instruction. Uh, it's a learning curve for many of our staff, uh, including myself. Uh, in preparing for education in this way. And uh, we, we just think that this uh, Wednesday is a, a great way for students and staff and families to have a regular time in which they can manage the, uh, uh, the difference in what's happening in a traditional day versus this NTI environment. And what I did is just kind of rolled out what the next six weeks will look like in the way of maroon and gold days. And you'll see that we, we just felt it was best to keep a regular routine with uh, maroon day being Monday and Thursday and gold day being Tuesday and Friday uh, so that it's easier for everyone to anticipate uh, and expect what they are having in the way of classes throughout the week. So our... Uh, Teachers and, and all our staff, administrators, and others will have office hours We could because we want to be available for you. Um, they're going to post when they're available for like uh, ESS academic support, uh, extended school service. Uh, but uh, from a, an academic intervention standpoint, if a student is struggling academically, that'll be posted in many ways that you see here. Um, but they also have office hours that, are, that they're reserving so that they can make sure they stay on top of emails, on phone calls, and, and communicating with parents uh, in other ways besides uh, academic support. And we really just appreciate your understanding that, uh, that, that our staff are doing their best to make time uh, to, to make this NTI uh, uh, plan a success. Uh, but they also are need time for themselves to take care of their family needs, their children, and and their own personal health. So I've been asked, uh, you know, parents, what what do we expect, or what do we need to do as parents uh, to help our our students, our children? Uh, just regu regularly review the NTI schedule. Make sure that's a regular part of your conversation uh, with your student and staying on top of those classes. You're going to see them engaging in that synchronous instruction. Uh, during that time. Uh, so we encourage you to develop a routine that includes school space. What, what that looks like in your home environment is, is how you construct it, but we really uh, uh, recommend that you reduce the visual and audio, the noise distractions uh, to a minimum during that synchronous instruction time. And I, I'll tell you, my family has found it helpful to have headphones during that time. Uh, it, it just helps to keep uh, uh, the the, the normal type of noise that happens in a household from being a distraction from learning. We also encourage you to engage in that physical activity uh, all throughout every uh, school day, as well as uh, devoting time for homework and, and personal time and downtime. And we highly encourage you to develop a system that works for you and, and your student in the way of organizing 
uh, schoolwork. And we were we are distributing the Atherton agenda during the materials textbook and Chromebook pickup uh, here during this week. And if you miss out on that, we will uh, find other opportunities for uh, you to be able to get that that handbook that we use every year that we find so valuable in helping students organize their school day. Finally, uh, I just want to say uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your flexibility. Thank you for a sense of humor as this is uh, uh, this is going to be a learning experience for us in many ways. Uh, one teacher described this to me. I thought it was a wonderful way to describe it. This is going to be very organic for us. We're actually going to have to experience it to understand what works and doesn't work and how to adapt that. So uh, we may have just a little bit of easing into it during this first week or two as we're building a, a classroom culture and understanding how to how to engage students in these academic expectations in this NTI environment here in August. Uh, but we do want to uh, encourage you to understand that NTI 2.0 uh, for JCPS is different than what we experienced in the spring. We learned a lot uh, in our first uh, go round of non-traditional instruction in the spring. And we're prepared to uh, uh, develop this plan and, and implement these procedures that are really going to uh, uh, engage students to be prepared academically for these classes and whatever they want to pursue beyond the school year. So uh, thank you so much. We appreciate your uh, attention and your um, flexibility in, in developing the structures that are needed for your family because Rebels, what you do makes a difference. So go make a difference to start this school year. Take care and see you soon.